Hey there, Lammies. Welcome to another Animal of the Day video. We're learning about some cool animals. All right, it's time to learn. Yesterday, we learned all about the Wolverine. We learned that Wolverines like to be alone. We also learned that they have some special adaptions to help them live in the colder climates that they live in, including their fur and their long nails and their sharp teeth. Finally, we also learned that baby kittens or baby wolverines will stay with their mom at least a year, some a little bit longer. How cool is that? All right, I have another great animal for us today. Let's get a drum roll. Today's animal of the day is the golden lion tamarind. The golden lion tamarind has a coat that shines like gold dust in the light. It is a close relative of the marmoset and one of the most endangered of all mammals. The golden lion tamarind's habitat. The golden lion tamarind inhabits the primal forest. So he likes forests that hasn't really been touched by people. He lives high in the treetops. Because he is sensitive to direct sunlight, he usually retreats into dense foliage during the hottest part of the day. So what that means is, is he doesn't like really hot sun. So he'll actually hide in the canopies of the trees for shade. They are super playful with each other. He has really long fingers that help him climb around the trees. But he actually does not use his tail to climb trees. Other types of monkeys will use their tails to climb trees. This one does not. They live in family groups. So that means that their family is very close. But if say another Tamarin came from another family, they wouldn't be too nice to him. They like their family circle to stay closed. Did you know he actually has claws instead of nails? So what does the golden lion Tamarin eat and how does he get his food? He eats both meat and plants. He collects food in treetops such as plants, flowers, and plant nectar. He also will eat small insects, lizards or snails, and even bird eggs. So let's talk about the mommy Tamarins and their babies. So this animal is very interesting. Um, the mommy and the daddy will stay together forever and the daddy actually helps a lot with the baby. When the baby is born, the daddy will actually wash it off. The baby that's born looks a lot like his parents, just his hair is a little bit shorter. And he will stay tightly held to his parents for the first couple of days. And the parents will actually even trade off who's taking care of the baby. At about three weeks old, the young babies will start to explore their surroundings, but they'll stay very close to their parents riding on their backs for the first several months. They're old enough to be on their own once they're about five months old, but usually they'll stay with their parents to be safe. And most young ones will actually stay with their parents for the rest of their lives. Like I said, they like to be a tight-knit family. So unfortunately, this is an endangered species. Years and years ago, people actually used to like to keep them as pets. And this is not a good animal to have as a pet. They like to be in the wild. They like to be with their families. And as I said before, they really like forests that has been untouched by humans. And a lot of the forests on our earth are actually being turned into neighborhoods and other things. So that's not very good for them. But don't worry. There are some people that have dedicated their lives to helping animals that have actually made it so that way they can have nice space that is all theirs that people can't disturb. All right, let's learn some fun facts about our friend, the golden lion Tamarin. Did you know that they actually will groom each other? They will take care of each other. They'll like comb each other's hair, make sure there's no bugs in there. They'll make sure everybody's clean. How crazy is that? So standing up there about one foot tall. So that's maybe about, about that big. And they weigh about a one and a half pounds. They are pretty little. They can live about 10 to 15 years when in like a zoo or captivity. We're not really sure how long they can live in the wild. They actually compare this monkey's nose to a pug's nose. How funny is that? All right, Lammies, I had so much fun learning about the golden lion Tamarin. I liked learning that he has a long, beautiful coat that he keeps groomed every day with the help of the other ones around him. I also really liked learning that mommies and daddies will work very hard to take care of their babies together. I also really liked learning that they like to stay in a family group and they don't really like intruders. What were your favorite things that we learned? I'd love to hear about them on the Lambs Class Facebook page or on the Lambs Class email account. All right, Lammies, I'll have one more fun animal for us tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.